All right, guys, um, we have worked our piano and seen uh, how we take our notes and transfer it over onto our piano for the, um, for the module seven song. Now what we need to do is be able to record it into BandLab. And there's a few extra thing, a few extra thing, there are a few extra things in BandLab that you need to know about in order to get it right. So, um, let's take a look at our band lab. Uh, so over here, you can see that I have um, my image. We have the piano set up like I showed you how to set it up in the last lecture. Uh, we have this, uh, you can see my hand on the keyboard over here. That's how I'm going to be playing my piano using the keyboard. Um, and now we need to know how do we, we record this. Okay, so in order to record it, I do need to be able to see um, over here on the left-hand side which track am I recording it to. I also need to see right here uh, which measure am I starting on, okay? Which measure am I starting on? So our first recording is measures one through eight. So right here, measures one through eight. We want to get measures one through eight right. So I click right here on measure one, then I get my piano up here, then I make sure I'm looking up here, then I press record. It's going to give me four beats before wherever this arrow is at. Okay, so I press the record and it gives me four beats. All right, so we are on measures one through eight. We want to record them uh, looking here up at the music, okay? So I'm going to be playing the keyboard um, using these down here, and I wanna make sure that I am starting right here at the beginning, measure one. Okay, so I've clicked on this measures one through eight. Um, I don't have any extra music there, so that's good. Um, nothing previously recorded. You want to make sure of that. Um, if you do, then you need to press the backspace key um, all the way. Can you see it over there? Backspace key, not the delete key, um, in order to get those notes correct. All right. So let's go ahead and get started on recording this. This is measures one through eight. You want to make sure that you have this clicked on there, right? Um, and you want to make sure that you have the piano practice muted and you're doing it to the piano, um, the record me. What does it say? Um, module seven song backing track. So you want this one to be unmuted and uh, playable. So let's do measures one through eight, make sure our instrument is up, pop it out, octave four, okay? Now I have my piano ready. I'm going to start measure one. Remember when I press record, it's going to give me four beats before wherever this arrow is at. So here we go, four beats before wherever that arrow is at. One, two, three, four. First measure of rest, one, two, three, four. Second measure of rest, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. I should be ready to play here, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four beats long. And that's as far as I go for measures one through eight. Now let's take a look at measures nine through the end. Okay, so I'm going to start it over here on measure nine. I need to make sure my arrow is right there. Um, it should be right where this line is, if I move that, right where this line is, beginning our new measure. Each one of these lines that you see here, that's each one beat, okay? So you can start it recording wherever you want to on those lines. This one is measure nine, right at the beginning. It's going to give me four beats before I begin, so I need to make sure that my hand is in position. I'm ready with my, what my first note is, and I'm looking forward and thinking forward what are my next notes, okay? So I'm ready to begin. Here we go. Four beats till we begin. One, two, three, 
four. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, four, one. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. Okay. And then I press stop. Um, and it should have recorded this. Let's take a look at our recording here now. Should have recorded all of that into this. Great. It has recorded it. I see those notes there. Great. Um, now we need to do the entire song. Okay, so I start on measure one, make sure I can see my music, and make sure that I can see my piano. I need to move it up into that upper left-hand corner to be able to move around that piano after I move it. Okay, now we are starting with measure one going through the entire song. Okay, starting right here at measure one. Make sure I'm in octave four. Make sure I click on me, my piano keyboard. Then make sure on this recording that I'm on the entire song. We want it to be on that track. Oh, and this time around, need to make sure that you don't have one through eight and nine through the end being recorded. We don't want that recorded. Okay, so here we have, um, now we're on the entire song. I'm ready to record it. I've made sure everything is muted and the right thing is unmuted. We have our backing track unmuted. Now it's time for the entire song to record it. I press that record button and I get four, uh, one measure before the first measure. Let's double check that we're in the right spot, yeah. One measure before the first measure, so I get four beats and then it's measure one and then I count, start counting my four beats or four measures here. So here we go, one, two, three, four. First measure, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. While this is happening, we need to make sure that our fingers are in the right spot. Four, two, ready, go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two beats. Four beats, two, three, four. One, two, four, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Off, two, three, four. And then I press stop. That should be the entire song that I have recorded now. Let's take a look at it, double check that it has recorded right. Okay, let's get rid of that piano. So now I scroll across, I can see all of this is correct. I have everything there. That looks good. I'm ready to submit my assignment. So then I go to my Google Classroom tab and submit it in Google Classroom. I don't, um, I do need to make sure that I press save draft or um, publish, I'm not sure which, but you wanna save it. Um, you do not need to submit it. Do not submit it in BandLab, okay? You submit it in Google Classroom, okay? You go to Google Classroom and you submit it there. And that's what I have for you guys on this for uh, recording your piano track into BandLab. Uh, thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Remember, be better than you were yesterday.